Hi, and thank you for joining Health Source at Ohio again as we proceed down the 12 nights of Christmas. Um, I hope you'll join me today as I read a very Fiona Christmas. This book starts out right here at our very own Cincinnati Zoo in Hippo Cove. So, it was a cold winter's day and the zoo was buzzing with excitement. Fiona bundled up in her favorite scarf kissed her mama goodbye, and set out to see what all the commotion was about. Christmas is coming. It's almost here. Christmas. I love Christmas. It's my favorite. Oh, yes. The trees, the decorations, the presents. Fiona listened to her friends talking. She wondered why they were so excited. This was her first Christmas at the zoo, and she still had a lot to learn. Christmas, she asked. What's Christmas? Come with us, Fiona. We'll show you. And so Fiona went. Fiona played in snow for the very first time. She slipped and slid down the snowy hill with her penguin pals. She wiggled and giggled right along with them until... Oof. Fiona found herself by snow animals. She smiled and felt a little warm inside, even as she stood in this cold snow. As she nuzzled her scarf to keep warm, she let out a snort, wiggled her ears, and asked, Is this Christmas? Come see more, rumbled Polar Bear. He lumbered off toward the big, tall, bright, and colorful Christmas tree. It's beautiful, Fiona shouted with glee. She looked up at the star on the top. It was shining brightly against the late afternoon sky. Fiona felt a little twinkly inside as she hung her very own ornament on the tree. As Fiona gazed in wonder, she let out a snort, wiggled her ears, and asked, Is this Christmas? Fiona heard jingling bells, and everywhere she looked, she saw sparkling lights and glittery decorations. She met some reindeer. Fiona even found a mistletoe. Fiona felt at all tingly inside. Then she let out a snort, wiggled her ears, and asked, is this Christmas? Fiona was getting hungry, and she was getting cold, too. It was time to get back to Hippo Cove for a lettuce, squash, and a snuggle with Mama. Back at home, Fiona quietly munched and crunched her dinner. Mama wondered why she wasn't her usual playful little hippo. What's Christmas, Mama? Fiona asked. My friend showed me lots of things today, but I still don't know what it is. Tomorrow is Christmas Day, Fiona. Spend time with your friends. See how happy they are. You'll get this, Fiona. You will feel it in your heart. Fiona was awake early on Christmas morning. From far away, she could hear the animals calling and cooing and roaring. The whole zoo seemed noisier than ever before. As Fiona set out in search of Christmas, she noticed a furry little animal sitting on a signpost. She looked a little sad and very chilly. Fiona slid close. Hi, I'm Fiona, she said. You must be new. I'm Chloe, the little ko koala whispered softly. As the new friends smiled at each other, the ground began to shake. Icicles tinkled, lights twinkled, and a stampede of animals whizzed by. It's Christmas! Time for presents! Which one is mine? Hurry, hurry, hurry. The animals raced to their stockings. They were filled with apples and oranges, lettuce leaves and worms. They were bouncing balls and colorful things to chew. There was even a stocking for Fiona with her name, written in sparkling glitter. But there wasn't one for Chloe. You didn't see a stocking with my name on it, did you, Fiona? Chloe asked as she shivered in the snow. No, I didn't, said Fiona. Fiona's chunky chin rubs against her soft, tattered scarf, the one Mama helped wrap around her neck to keep warm. It was in that, me in that moment that Fiona finally understood Christmas. It's friends and fun and snow and lights and trees and love. As she slipped her favorite scarf over the little koala's shoulders, Fiona let out a snort, wiggled her ears, and said, This is Christmas. 
Merry Christmas, Chloe. Merry Christmas, Fiona. Hey everyone, come meet Chloe. She just moved here. Fiona called out to her friends. It's nice to meet you. Welcome to the zoo. Merry Christmas, Chloe. Hey, nice scarf. That night, Fiona shook snowflakes off as she returned to Hippo Cove, ready for dinner. Merry Christmas, my chilly little hippo, said Mama. Where's your scarf? Fiona smiled as she gave Mama a quick Christmas nuzzle. I gave it to my new friend. She needed it more than me. You make me very proud, said Mama. As Fiona snuggled up that night, her heart felt warm and happy. Mama, you were right, Fiona said with a huge hippo yawn. I found out what Christmas is all about, Mama smiled. I knew you would, Fiona. Merry Christmas and sleep well. And she did. I hope that you all have a happy and healthy holiday and a very Merry Christmas.